Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be making some salmon croquettes. Most people know them by either fish cakes or salmon patties. But here is all of what you are going to need. And I possibly might be using three eggs because these eggs are so small. But we'll see as we go along with the mixing. And here, I just left this out so you can see how much of the red pepper that I used. And same with the green. All right. And you're going to need two cans of salmon, whichever brand you prefer. We have some finely chopped onions and some flour. So I'm going to open these cans up and start to clean them. And I'll be right back. Now it's time to clean this fish. So what you want to do is drain all of the liquid off of it from out of the can and make sure you get off as much as possible because you don't want that liquid into your mix when it's time to put it all together because it'll be way too loose and the flour and egg won't hold it together much okay so i'll give you a quick example of how to do this you definitely want to get this stuff here off And the easiest part is right here to start to clean it with. You see how that opens? And you see all of the bones and stuff like that? So what you want to do is scrape that out. And then there's a part here where you just open that up and you scrape all of this stuff out. You get it? All right, so I'm going to clean this up fully and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the fish all cleaned up and deboned. This is what it should look like. After that, you wanna just take a fork or anything that you find easy to mash with and just break it all apart. You can also flake it with your, your fingers if you want to, but this way is much easier. and faster okay so that looks about oh got a big chunk there all right so i'm just going to check through it to make sure there aren't any big chunks in there yep so two Okay, that looks good enough. Now it's time to get all of the ingredients in and form these patties. Okay, let's get this all mixed up. Okay, in this small bowl here, I have one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon and a half of black pepper, and right beside it, which is hiding, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, and over here, one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Now you don't need much of that because the fish already has um, a small content of uh, salt in it. So I'm gonna mix all of these up. And I like to do this in layers so that it can be flavorful. So I'm gonna add the seasoning directly to the fish Okay, that looks good to me. I'm gonna leave a little behind. And I'm going to mix that through.
Okay, now I'm going to add the onions, all of them, because we like onions in, on this channel. All right, the green and red pepper. I'm going to be adding all of that as well. Oh, this smells good. Reminds me of being in the kitchen with my mother when I was younger. It's something about the smell of onions and peppers, man. Oh, man. Reminds me of being home. Okay, so I'm going to mix this through. I like to do this while the uh, fish is still dry without before adding the egg because I'm able to get the peppers and onions all the way through instead of having them clumped up in one spot. Oh, thought I saw something. Oh, I did. In one spot, so it can be evenly distributed throughout the fish so it can be some in each patty. Okay, so now I'm going to add the egg. And by the way, this is two beaten eggs. I have one on reserve just in case if my uh, mixture isn't moist enough. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need that extra egg. I can tell already. Yep. Here's that extra egg. Definitely needed that. The eggs that I had were really small. All right, that looks much better. So you want to mix that and get that all the way through to where the fish starts to look moist. And guys, right now will be a perfect time to like this video and make sure that you subscribe to this channel and click the notification bells so that when I post a video you guys will be notified okay so that's enough of the egg the three eggs worked out for me because I had small ones I'm gonna gradually add a bit of all-purpose flour now this is gonna help with the binding and also give it that that crunch on the outside of the salmon croquette now you're not gonna need a whole lot of this Just a little more. And the measurement amounts will be in the description below. Okay, that should do. Okay, so I'm going to get this fully mixed and I'll be right back when it's time to form the patties. Okay, let's form these patties. Okay, I got the mix here, of course, and right here I have a bacon sheet lined with some parchment paper so that the patties won't, won't stick. So I like making my patties a little on the thinner side because the thicker you make them, the longer they will take to fry. And also, having them thinner gives it a better crunch. Add a little more to that one. And out of this mix, you should get anywhere from, if you make them the size that I'm going to make them, about eight, maybe nine patties. Anywhere from six to eight patties. OK. 
Okay, there's one. See that? And you don't have to make all of them at, at one time. You can really just make whatever you're going to eat. Or if you have people over, you know, you can make that amount that you're going to serve the people. And the rest you can put away. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these patties patted out, and I will be right back. Okay, so it's time to fry these patties. At this point, you should have already had your oil preheating. So this is what the patties look like after they've been formed. Okay, I got eight of them out of the mix, which I expected. So let's start frying. Whoa, baby, whoa. Okay, I'm going to let these go a little bit. And I'll be back when they're almost done. Okay, it's time to flip these bad boys over. So how you would know that it's time to flip them over is that you will start to see like the edges turning brown here. Like you see here, let me show you. Okay, there's a zoom in pick. You see that? That's when you know it's time to flip those patties over. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. And the best way to do that is to use two things so that you don't create any splatter and get a big old mess of oil all over the place. See how perfect those look? Those are going to be amazing, guys. I advise you to really give this recipe a try. Because I'm sure that you will like it. Better yet, fall in love with it. Okay, I'll be back when it's time to take these out and put our second batch in. Okay, so this first batch is done. You want to take them out. And either put them on paper towel to let the excess oil drain off. But I'm going to be using a cooling rack with paper towel under it so that it can keep its crispiness. Look at that, beautiful. Fried to perfection. Okay, so there we have the three are done so far. Going in with the second batch. And you want to be careful when you're laying that in there. Well, basically when you're frying anything because you don't want the oil to splatter all over you. So you lay it away from you. Okay. Okay, guys. So there's our second batch. And I will be back when these are all completely done. Okay, so here's the finished product of our salmon croquettes. Look how beautiful they came out. Nice and golden brown. And you can see like the specks of the vegetable, the green pepper and red pepper. Guys, don't forget to like this channel, like this video, better yet, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I post another video and also subscribe, definitely subscribe.